access to love everybody. So sister, you just, you just quoted you just quoted a lot of scriptures. Hold on real quick. And then you're gonna run away. Don't make your point and run away. You said his main, I'm gonna uh, go off right there, my bad sister. You said his main point was to speak the gospel. Give me what Christ came to do. What is that, Matthew? You uh, looking for it? Hold on, brother, hold on, brother. Oh, is that my guy, what did he do? He said, yeah. Uh, I forgot bro's name, Daquan, I think. Daquan? Daquan? Yeah, Where? light skin, bro. In the car? Yeah, not old school Daquan. Oh. Uh. Yeah, not old school. <laughs> what did he do? Uh, Hold on, sister. You said what? What price can you do? Huh? Hey, sis, you got your phone on you, real quick. Scan this, scan this QR code. I'm telling, sister, you got to come out of that Christianity doctrine, right? As soon as we get to telling you Christ is a black man, you say love everybody, right? You want to love everybody while while the so-called all the other nations hate your guts, right? They hate your black skin that I just told you Christ got, but she want to love her enemy. She want to love Becky. Okay, she want to love these people who hate our guts, man. Right? So, we, so I, I'm, I'm going to call the pastor Mike there. So Should I? Where we at? All right. Give me, um, where we at? Did we, did we, oh. man, two minutes time. Did we finish that second entry? Um, go back to second entry, three and 18. We finished that, All right? So this is part two, okay? I hope you brothers and sisters have been writing these precepts so you can go to who God was dealing with. Throughout the whole Bible, the Most High God has a chosen people, right? And bow in the heavens, yep. Give me that 18, start at 18, King. Second second Ed, chapter, chapter three, verse 18. And bowing the heavens, thou did set fast. The earth moveth the whole world and made it the depth to tremble and troubleth the man of that age. And thy glory went through four gates of fire and of earthquake and of wind and of cold. That's those four gates. That thou might have given the law unto the seed of Jacob. So that's why everything happened. So what you plug in her ears? See, white people are inferior. They got soft ears. That's why they always wanted to be quiet. They always ask you, can't turn your music up loud. Their their ears are weak. Their eyes are weak. Their skin is weak. Their muscle is weak. Okay, their nut is weak. They, they got uh they, they they got small uh birth rate. Okay, this is why they want us to kill our children because it, white people be proud when they got a big family because they're lucky if they get a son and a daughter. While while the so-called black man can have twelve children. Right, five to one. Okay, five to one family. Right, back to back. Jake just in there, back to back, knocking boots. Okay, you know that's why we just listen to our music. You know that movie ATL. They said you can see, you know, he got moved by the way he skates. You know the way he sings. So I'm telling you, but that's what's up. don't follow, don't follow. Okay, don't follow. Second answer is three. Go ahead. Nineteen. So like it says. Now that might have given the law unto the seed of Jacob and diligence unto the generation of Israel. And yet took it thou not away from them a wicked heart. What verse is that? 20. That thy law might bring forth fruit in them. So that's why everything happened though, right? When you go back to even Adam, the reason Adam was made with a wicked heart so he, he transgressed the only commandment he was given to not eat from the fruit of the of knowledge of good and evil. That was the only commandment he was given, but the reason he went off is because he put in Adam a wicked heart, okay? It's because the Most High God's law had to be made manifest in man, okay? And those are his name. This is why he, he, he had a purpose, all right? What color is Christ according to the Bible? The color is Jesus, according to the Bible. Is a white man coming out of the sky to save people? Hey, do you think John Elton is coming to save people? 
Or do you think a brother like Wesley Snipes is coming out the sky? You think a... <laughs> okay. Hey, you guys think John Elliott like, looks like Jesus Christ? Does Keanu Reeves look like Jesus Christ? Where are we at? Give me that, 2nd Ezra, is that verse 20. Go to 2nd uh, Ezra 3. So let me see. That's why the children of people of God are in the land of captivity today. When you read verse Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1, it says that if you Israelites obey the Most High God, I will set you on high above all nations. But if you break my commandments, then I will bring, then I will set thee on low, and all these curses shall come upon thee. Right? So because the Israelites broke those commandments, we were put into captivity. But everything happens for a reason, children of Israel, so don't fret. Okay, 2nd Ezra 3 and 21. 2nd Ezra chapter 3 and verse 21. For the first Adam bearing a wicked heart transgressed. See, the first Adam, uh, it was, that was in the Garden of Eden. For the first Adam bearing a wicked heart transgressed and was overcome. And so be all they that are born of him. Right, you see that? And so be all they that are born of Adam. Adam, we all have every man, woman, and child by nature is covetous, is wicked until we are taught. That's why the Bible says, train up a child in the way that he shall go and he shall not depart from it. Because if you leave a child or anybody to think of their own, then they're gonna be, they're gonna react to their environment. You just put a child, shalom brother, shalom sister. You believe in the Bible? You know Jesus the Christ is a so-called black man? Did you know that Christ is not a white male? Let me ask these gentlemen right here. These gentlemen look like they pay their taxes. Can I ask you gentlemen a question? Does Jesus the Christ, is he described in the Bible? You guys probably don't even believe in the Bible, huh? A lot of, a lot of red blood Americans don't believe in the Bible because there's no point of believing in, in, in hope and faith when you don't, come on brother, you believe in the Bible? You're a Muslim? Okay, you know, uh, you know, Muslim is a religion, that's not a nationality. That's a faith. That's You believe in a rock, right? You guys worship a rock in, in, in Muslim, and that's a religion. Half a moon and all that, right. Don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. The heathen are dismayed at those things. Okay? Where are we at? Second Ezra. 21, oh, Genesis 5 and 1, Colossians. Right, so what we gonna go into some, you know, you know Abigail, we get history. We gonna deal with some new, we gonna chill on, brother, you believe in the Bible? You don't believe in nothing? You believe in that American flag? You got strapped to your chair? Huh? I believe in that, so you can believe in whatever you wanna believe in, that's why I believe in that. But if you don't believe in nothing, I just don't believe in nothing, but stand on the wall and let you do what you do, you think. Okay, for sure. Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to do it, I'm doing it. All right, brother, for sure. Come on, King. Think. Hey, you know, if you believe totally in... Totally neutral. For sure. You do your thing. All right. Hey, did you fight in the war? Just put me on the wall. That's what did I Did you fight in the war? Put me on the wall. Put you on the wall? Put me in the back seat with him. I bet I like to say that. Put me in the back seat with him. I bet I like to say that. You got to go out and be joking, well, be joking, joking, okay? To do what you gotta do. Hey, if you put him, if you get in the back seat with him, he like whoop you us for a head. That was a brother right there, nigga. He may not got all his feet, but he got his hands. Okay, Genesis 5 and 1. The book of Genesis chapter 5, verse 1. This is a this is the book of the generations of Adam. The generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, uh-huh. in the likeness of God made he him. In the likeness of God made he him, man. We read that in Genesis 1 and 26. Uh, man was not created in the likeness of Paul Bunyan. Right. He was not created in the likeness of, we were not created in the likeness of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All praise, right? You gotta have a sense of humor, man. That's her man, but she know she know men were not created in the likeness of Paul Bunyan. To give a damn, right? The sister said we got the E G because we come out of black women, not white women. You can't okay. Go ahead. When in the day that he made man, in the day that he that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. 
right. male and female created he them right. and blessed and them uh -huh. and called their name and called their name Adam. Their name, their is plural, and called their name Adam. You see that? So every man in the beginning were Adamites. But then he started to deal with one Adam. Adam and Eve, who Cain and Abel came out of, and then Cain killed Abel, and then they had Seth, right? Second Ezra 3 and 21. Right? So, so he says, uh, what did we just read? That their name was Adam. Adamites. Go ahead. The book of Second Ed, chapter 3 and verse 21. For the first Adam bearing a wicked heart transgressed and was overcome. And so be all they that are born of him. Thus infirmity was made permanent. And the law also in the heart of the people with the magnanimity. Malignity, the heart of the people with malignity of the root. See, they're going ambulance. Remember, I said earlier, if you don't know, like an ambulance or a fire truck, fire truck can swing by. They're going ambulance. You might see a cop. Right, right. Shalom. Shalom. You got good points today. I mean, Shalom, sorry. We said right here. The infirmity was made permanent, and the law also in the heart of the people with the malignity, malignity of the root, so that the good departed away, and the evil abode still. Small head Ethiopia off the set. Okay. Uh, I seen him drop too. Drop too. Give me uh, second Ezra 6 and 54. So a lot of people like to think Adam was just skipping through the tulips when he was made, when he was on earth. That he was just walking around, willy-nilly, naming things like, oh, that's a shark. Because do say Adam named all thy creatures, right? But he wasn't skipping through the tulips, seeing monkeys, who there go a monkey. Adam was the son of God. He was ruling at that time. He, he was teaching the commandments, right, that the other nations did. It says he, they despise thy commandments. How did they know the commandments? Okay? It's because Adam was teaching. The Adamites were teaching the commandments. Okay? Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 6, and verse 24? 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou made it Lord of all thy creatures. Adam was what? He made it Lord, he was made Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So we admit that we all come from Adam, go ahead. And the people, and, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. You see that? We all come from Adam, and the people whom thou hast chosen. Okay, so Adam was the son of God on earth at that time, man. That was the kingdom of heaven at that time when Adam was was breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. He was given the commandment. He was made Lord. Okay? Second Ezra 3 and 21. Jackie Chan. Book of Second Ezra, chapter 3 and verse 21. For the first Adam bearing a wicked heart transgressed and was overcome, and so be all they that are born of him. Thus infirmity was made permanent, and the law also in the heart of the people with the mal malignity of the root, so that the good departed away, and the evil abode still. See, the evil abode still. Now give me Mark 7 and 21. Okay, what does the Bible, Shalom, brother, you believe in the Bible? What color? Huh? Die for our sins, call us to be holy. Jesus died for our sins? Yes, sir. Okay, who, who is the uh, the owl that he died for? Give me Acts 5 and 29. Oh, Salaki. I said, who is the owl? When you said he died for our sins, who is the owl that you're talking about? Every living man. Everybody, every, okay. Every living person, everybody with a soul who was going to be born. Uh -huh. Okay, now, uh, what was I about to ask you? So, what does sin mean according to the Bible? Mm. Testament, Testament. Not just New Testament, it's the Bible. Oh, oh, Testament. 
Oh, for sure, for sure. I'm a, I'm a, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know if this is 100% accurate, but I'm gonna say, like, from like this, what, like, my knowledge, mm -hmm. and it's not like you feel me, it's very big. Uh -huh. But sin is like, you know, it's the, it's basically going against the law, like going against God's word. Ooh, the law. Sort of that's, ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right, brother. Right? Sin, sin to, is not just something you think that's bad. Yes. Right? That's what a lot of people have the common understanding, probably, they think that the word sin just means you do something bad. But the Bible gives us an answer for everything. First John 3 and 4. Fine. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Uh -huh. So sin, if you commit sin, transgress means to tra trespass. You went, you went, uh, you out of place. Transgress means to go past. You, you out of place. For sin is the transgression of the law. What is sin? The transgression of the law. So my brother, if sin is the transgression of the law, Psalms 147 and 19, who were the laws of God? Because who, who first had the law? Who went up on Mount Sinai? Moses, okay. He was given more than 10, right? But he was given two tables written on the front and back. The 10 commandments are just like when you look into a table of contents, you get to the table, that's the, the chapter of each, that's the, uh, the you know, the, the title of each chapter. The Ten Commandments are just titles of each chapter, but they each go into sub-laws of each ten, right? So, who did, and then Moses came down off the, out, off Mount Sinai, and who did he give the laws to? Who's his people? Who does the book talk about? Majority of the book that's talked about. Who is it? What, what people is it talked about? The sons of Abraham. The sons of who? Yaakov. Okay, what was Yaakov's name changed to? After he wrestled the angel. No, ya Yaakov or Yaakov means Jacob. But then remember he wrestled the angel all night. And then the angel changed his name. What was his name changed to? Israel or Yasharala. Right? And through Yasharala, the nation of Israel can't come under the sun. You get the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? Right? On the left hand side would be the name we were given when we were taken into captivity by our oppressors, the enemies of our nation. On the right hand side, this is our biblical name. This is what God calls us. Okay? We're called from the tribe of, we're from the tribe of Judah. You know they got that group called a tribe called Quest? Well, the so-called black man is from a tribe called Judah. Where you at? Uh, 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 Psalms 147 and 19. Because my brother said that he died for our sin, and sin means transgression of the law, right? We're going to see who the laws were given to. The book of Psalms, chapter 149 and 19. 147 and 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments are to Israel. So his statutes and his judgments were giving the laws of God were giving to Israel. Go ahead. He has not dealt so with any nation. No, he, he, he knew the other nations. He has not dealt so with any nation. No, he's dealing with white people. Uh -uh. He has not dealt so with any nation. See that? Hey, say, brother, you got to get you a sister. Brother, it's a sin to interracial marriage. Right, you guys probably group been together for a long time because you too old, she too old. We ought to just start dating. <laughs> right, I just call it how I see it, brother. Okay, give me Psalm 785. So, right there, David said that he showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his commandments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any other nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. So if sin means to break the laws, and the laws were given to the Israelites, one plus one, then who can sin, according to the Bible so far? Who can sin? Gentiles. No. The, the it, so we just read that sin means what? Transgression of the law. The laws were given to what people? So can, the, can, can, a mob, can an Asian man sin if he don't have the laws? 
They can commit moral sins like homosexuality. God hates that, period. Uh, adultery, sleeping with a man's wife, God hates that, period. They can commit moral laws, but the laws of God that, were, that Moses came down with, they were given to what people? So, so far, if, if the laws were only given to Israelites, they can only sin, right? Give me that Psalm 78 and 5. So, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 78 and verse 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel. He appointed a law where? In Israel. So if 1 John 3 and 4, transgressions of the law means breaking sin. Uh, uh, so like sin means transgression of the law. He established the law in Israel. Acts 5 and 29. So you said Christ died for our sins. According to the Bible so far, brother, only the Israelites can sin if they were given the law. We have a misunderstanding of who can sin because we've been taught Christianity. Christianity was taught by this man and by those people, right? When they brought us into slavery, they taught us a white Jesus and they taught us we don't got to keep God's law. And if you got five, hold on, give me, give me, give me two more precepts, brother. Okay, two more precepts. Where you at? Acts five and start at twenty thirty. Look at Acts chapter five and verse thirty. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, who you slew and hanged on a tree. Right. So this is talking about the crucifixion of Jesus the Christ, right? Him has God exalted with His right hand to be a prince and a savior and a savior. For to give repentance, right? Because when you believe in Christ, you're supposed to repent, right? For to give repentance to Israel. To who? To Israel. To all nations. To Israel. Christ died for everybody. To Israel. But Christ died for our sins. For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. But Christ was only to give forgiveness of sins to the Israelites. One more question, and I'm gonna let you go, brother. Real quick. What's your name? Xavier, uh, aim your phone at this at this QR code. Are you recording or something? Yeah. Oh, you are. Yeah. Okay, you want to keep recording. All right. After after I use this last preset. Okay. Okay. Come. And it's a good thing you're recording because you can go watch this over. Revelation 2014. What I'm about to read right now is what does Revelation mean? Revelation. What does it mean? It means revealing. Yeah, this is, so this is the, the revealing of Jesus the Christ, who was a Hebrew, who we call him Hamashiach, meaning the Messiah, the black Messiah. Because a lot of people, when, they, when you say Jesus the Christ or Jesus Christ, they got this white boy in their mind, okay? And, 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 it's, and it's weird when you look out on the earth, the Asians, they got a God that look like them, Buddha. The East Indians got a God that look like them. These people, they got Shiva. They got brown guys that look like them, right? Uh, uh, the Arab, they got Allah. Every other nation has a God or a savior that looks like them. But why is it that people of melanated brown and dark complexion, right, of woolly hair, why do we have a God that looks like our enemies, right? Keanu Reeves is not coming out the sky in the second coming. If a white man comes out the sky, the second coming of Christ, if a white man comes out the sky, we're going back into captivity. Right. Going back into the slave field, brother. Because that means it was okay for them to enslave us. If a white Jesus comes back, we're going back into the cotton field. But if a black man comes out the sky, then he's gonna take the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that have been brought low and set them on high. That's gospel, that's good news. Give me that Revelation 1 and 14. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So brother, you look like a smart brother. Is wool a color or a texture? What people on earth today have woolly textured hair? Okay, right? You heard the saying, they pulled the wool over your eyes. That's because they lied to us. The wool that is talking about, this is on the head of Christ, the son of God. We are the children of God. Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. So it looked like this image, brother, white and woolly. It looked more like this image. We're not saying this is Christ, but we're saying with the details the Bible gives, it looked more like this, like Wesley Snipes with an afro. 
Not like Keanu Reeves with a beard and long lassy hair with his hair blowing in the wind. Christ ain't hair and blowing in the wind. Unless he got dreads like my brother. Verse 15, and his feet like unto fine brass. So he starts at the top of his head. He said he got a white woolly afro. Then he looked down at his feet and he said his feet has the color of brass. He's describing them from the top of his head to his feet. What color is brass? Brown. Now, let me ask you this question. If you take anything, you put it in the furnace. You might have kept it in there for too long. You might have left your chicken in the stove for too long. And you burned it. It's burned now. What color is it, brother? It's black. Okay, give me that. And it's see like unto fine brass as if. They burn in a furnace. Christ's feet look like he did what? As if they burned in a furnace. So Jesus the Christ was a dark brown man. He looked like he was burned in a furnace. So he would look more like this image than that image. And to back that up is because we are the sons of God. We're from the tribe of Judah, the same tribe as Jesus the Christ. Okay? So, you, do you see yourself on this sign real quick, brother? What tribe are you from? Okay, he's from Benjamin. You're from Benjamin, brother? Okay, Benjamin would be the so-called Jamaican. Your dad's a so-called Jamaican? Grandfather, right. That's, give me that numbers 1 and 18, because you are who your dad is, brother. Right? Because men, we carry the seed line. And uh, take your camera around and, and come get this QR code real quick. Wow. Oh, you already got it? All yeah. oh, praises to the Most High God. Give me numbers 1 and 18. Yeah. What do you got to tell, blue? Oh, he might got some. Right. We'll see who's that. Oh, that's good. Uh, number one, number, number, number numbers, one and eighteen. The book of Numbers, chapter one and verse eighteen. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after. What's a what's a pedigree? Your heritage. A pedigree is like your lineage. You know, when dogs got a certain pedigree of dogs, right? They declared their pedigrees. Go ahead. They declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. So your pedigree, your heritage is determined by your father. He's, we care, men carry the seed, we plant the seed in the woman and whatever comes out of that woman is of the dad, right? So so listen brother, uh, you, you gotta get up out of here. I had to stop Yeah, all praise, what was your name again? Xavier. Xavier? I wanna ask you a question. Go ahead. You, you say you're from the tribe of Benjamin. You familiar with the the, 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 the mighty prophet Paul? You know, Apostle Paul, right? That all the, you heard of Paul? Let me, let's watch this. Watch this for a second. Watch what Paul says he is. Because you said, you're from what again? Let me, let me we said you're from what again, King? So what would that make you? If you're from this tribe, Benjamin, what would that make you today? What, what would your nationality be? Okay, and and okay, and this tribe Benjamin, right? This man, this this man Benjamin is from who was his father? Who was Benjamin's father? Okay, who is the father of all these boys? Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Israel. So if you're from the tribe of Benjamin. You would be a Israelite. So let's see, let's see what tribe Paul says he's from in this thing. Come on. The book of Romans, chapter eleven and verse one. I say then, has God cast away His people? Paul is saying, have God forgot about His people and put them away? God forbid. That means ethno. For I also am an Israelite. What did Paul say? For I also am an Israelite of what tribe? Of the seed of Abraham, uh -huh. of the tribe of Benjamin. Of the tribe of what? 
of the tribe of Benjamin. So Paul is from the same tribe that you are, brother. Right. You are an Israelite. Right. Okay? All oh, praises, right? Oh, praise. So what tribe are you from? Right. 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 You an Israelite. Okay? How do you know you an Israelite? What, but right, but what else can you identify in the Bible to prove to prove that you're an Israelite though? If you could be, huh? What about any, what about that's right? But what about any signs? Like, let me ask you something. Are you familiar with slavery? Are you? You, you, you your people went through slavery. Your people, your grandpa, right? So in the Bible. How would you be able to prove that you are an Israelite? Right. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 48. Watch this. Uh huh. Now watch this. I mean, this, this is how we gonna, This is how you gonna know you're an Israelite. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 45. Moreover, all these curses, all these curses, shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. Till thou be destroyed. Let's see why, young Israelite. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded. So we didn't hearken, we didn't listen to the voice of the Lord to keep the commandments. And they, in the, the, the curses, shall be upon thee for a sign. See that? You ever wonder why we ever went to slavery? We're going to see. Come on. And for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Uh huh. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness See? and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. We serve our what? Serve thine enemies. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent them? Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh-huh. In hunger. Uh-huh. And in thirst. And in thirst. And in nakedness. Uh-huh. And in want of all things. Of all things, we are going to serve our enemies in what? And he shall put a yoke of iron. He shall what? Put a yoke of iron. A yoke of iron on what? Upon thy neck. Upon what? Upon thy neck. That curse right there was given to the Israelites by Moses when he led them out of Egypt. Right? Here go that. Here go that job. Come take a look at this. I know you're on the road. So take a look at this. This is a curse that fell upon the Israelites in the Bible. Okay? Because we broke our God's laws. Okay? That's how we know we're the Israelites. He said the enemy shall what again? Hold on, don't let him miss it. And he, the enemy, shall put a yoke of iron. Didn't God say the enemy was going to do that? That's right. There's no way around that. Come on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Right. You see that? That's why we that's why we call ourselves those names. Those byword. We were see destroyed that? in slavery. Now we're called black people. American. African American. Okay? That's why we were destroyed, brother. I, I like how the brother brought that out, King. So so that's a good point, right? We got we know that we're the children of Israel, Israel right? Because Deuteronomy 28, 46 says that the curses will be upon us for a sign, right? Now that you got on, you got on Jordans, right? How would somebody know that those are Jordans if they've never seen the Jordan shoe but they know his logo? How would they know those are Jordans? Because of the man. Is that a sign? Is that a, is it, right? Is, is uh, is the swoosh. You know what the swoosh is? Who's signing that? You know that's Nike from their swoosh sign. You know that these are the Israelites from the signs which are the curses. Okay? So brother, what, what we want you to do, I'm glad you subscribed to the channel, King, okay? Right? When you do watch, you got a Bible at home? Okay, all praises to the most. Oh, you're not from here? You from Jersey? Okay, all praises to the most high, King. You will be an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin, okay, from the nation of Israel. The so-called black man, Hispanic, Native American, Jamaican, Haitian, Puerto Rican, Cuban, Dominican, Guatemala, American, Seminole Indian, Mexican, Argentina, 
These are just the Israelites scattered on this side of the world. North America, Central America, and South America, and the island. That's right! Who told you that? Right, so, so the real Jews, the real Israelites have been scattered for breaking God's commandments, brother. Okay? That's why there's a black race every nation. That's why there's a black race, right. But they don't show those people. They don't, they don't talk about it. Right. They always show the lighter complexion one. Yeah. Right. That's right. Awesome. Hey, look, hey, 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 this is what they try to hide from us. From us, King. And I'm, I know you I know you gotta go. He's fat. Right? You from Jersey. He's fat, right? He's from Jersey. Alright? Listen. You said you was for the tribe of Benjamin. But you know the Messiah. The Messiah was an Israelite. You know that? He was from the tribe of Judah. Okay? He was from the tribe of Judah. You can name him and send him to Okay, let's prove, because we're we, we trying to prove. Well, we, we got to feed this truth. John 8, 32. Right? The truth's going to make us free, bro. Right? Come on. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. What tribe did Christ, Jesus the Christ, sprang out of? Our Lord sprang out of Judah. You see that in Matthew 15, 24. You see, Christ sprang out of the tribe of Judah, King, from Jersey. Okay, but you ask the question, you said, man, you know, who do you think Christ was sent for? Who sent, who sent Christ to do his wonderful works? What, what, for what people? Right? Did you get that understanding, okay, when you first walked up here, you said Jesus the Christ died for our sins. Did I prove, did the Bible prove to you, he didn't die for everybody's sin. He died, the Most High God sent his only begotten son to die for the nation of Israel's sin, his chosen people, okay? And the brother's gonna read, have me read a precept to prove why he was sent. Right. They say Christ was sent for everybody, according to John 3, 16. But out of Christ's own mouth, this is the world that he was talking about. The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, this is what Christ said, I am not sent. I'm not sent, you guys. But, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. No, unto the lost sheep of the whole world. Unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. See, that's Christ's own mouth. Right. See, but the world would go and add words unto the man, uh, to the brother. <laughs> See, the world, had, right? You got some more on that? Come on. The book of Matthew, chapter 10, and verse 5. These 12, Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, sent forth and commanded them, saying, He sent the 12 disciples, commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentile. You said the Gentile. You know, remember that? Right. I remember what you said, but let's see what Christ said. Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of Samaritans into you not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Of the house of who? Of the house of Israel. Christ said, man, don't, I told the 12 disciples, man, don't be mad. Listen, man. Don't be giving my sauce to the Gentiles, to these other nations. Y'all need to go to the, the lost sheep, the Israelites, among these nations, and, right. and give them this sauce. Right. They need that. Right. Right. That's what they said. That's what he said. Come on. That's why we only are teaching the people on this side. We ain't teaching the whole world. We're doing Christ's same mission. Right. right. The book of Matthew, chapter 1, and verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, Mary. And thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people. No, 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 all people. For he shall save his people. Right, the place what the Bible says. The Bible says Christ is going to save his people, which is the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay? Okay? okay, the Cubans, the Puerto Ricans, the Dominicans, okay? Right. You get what I'm saying? You, okay? Right. That's what he read that one more time. For he shall save his people. Christ shall save his people. 
from their sins. From what? From their sins. You know why he said from their sins? Because they're the only people that got the law. Right. And and what is what is what is, what is sin again? You get it now? That's why it's that separate. You see that? Come on. The book of Matthew chapter 2 and verse 6. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. What did God say? That shall rule my people Israel. Israel is God's people. This That's is New, right. this is New Testament. Right. We got to deal with it. We got to deal with it. Is this shotgun in it? I know you go. I know you go, Jersey. I know you go, Jersey. This is from Seattle. You get Seattle. It's right. Okay, right now, in the spirit, with the word. Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And had a wall, great and high. Now see, everybody says, well, heaven is for everybody, Jersey. Right. You know what I'm saying? But let's see what the Bible, let's see what John says. Come on. And had a wall great and high. And had a wall great and high, John is seeing. And at, and had 12 gates. I, you know, the world says, well, this is this one famous gate. One pearly gate. That's not what John said. How many gates in heaven is? And had 12 gates. There's 12 gates in heaven. And at the gates, 12 angels. There's, eight, there's an angel on each gate. Uh -huh. And names written thereon. There's names on them. Huh? Which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel? You see that the twelve gates who had an angel on each gate and names written on it was only for the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Christ said, "I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel." Why they don't read about all this Israel in the New Testament in church? See that is because it's the truth. It's the truth. All praise to the Most High. Where we at? Shalom, sisters. You guys got a question? What tribe? What tribe y'all from? You see yourself on the chart? On the sign? What sign? What tribe you from? Give me Second to last. Second to last. Issachar. Issachar. Okay. Mighty Issachar. All praise to the Most High God. Right. So we would be from the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel. Israel, the man. He had twelve sons, and those twelve sons became the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Okay, they each tribe became a great nation. So the so-called black man, who they called Negro, the black man and woman, we would descend from the tribe of Judah, the same tribe as Jesus the Christ. Turn that around for me. Okay, but who do do to? Colonialism, colonialism, right? By the so-called white man who, who came over here in the 1400s with Christopher Columbus, the, the conquistadors. Shalom, King, where we're talking from, brother? Benjamin. Benjamin. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so we out here for our people, right? But due to slavery and colonialism, we have been called these names, American black. That's what they call us, Negro. With that Negro, that just means black. But we're not black, that's a color. We're brown people. Like you guys are brown people. They call you guys Mexico, but you're really from the tribe of Issachar. Now, what we're going to read is, give me that revelation you got hit again, right? So, so listen, the word revelation, right, means revealing. What we're about to read is a description of Jesus as Cristo, because we've been told Jesus as Cristo as, as Blanco, okay? But that's El Diablo, El Blanco Vaco, El Diablo. Jesus as Cristo as Negro. Okay, give me that Revelations 1 and 14. The book of Revelations chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So is wool a color or a texture? It's a texture. Now this is the, the revealing. Revelation means revealing. John starts at the top of Christ's head. He, he says the top of his head look like wool. This would look like wool, right? Wool is like, what people on earth today have woolly hair? You can say it, whatever, black people, so-called black people, us, right? The so-called black man. The reason the so-called black man has hair of wool and, and Christ is described as hair of wool because we're both from the tribe of Judah. The black man is from the tribe of Judah, so is Jesus the Christ is from the tribe of Judah. We're the real Jews. We're the real God's chosen people. The people of God are black and brown people. It's not white people. 
You hold, you gotta, he's gonna hold his question. I'm teaching my sisters right now. Right. Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. Person. It was white. It was white. It was woolly and white as snow, like this to me. We never see Jesus as, as Cristo with white and woolly hair. We always get brown and straight hair. Right. Right. This image comes from the white man. They made this image. Right. But the Bible just said white and woolly, like this image. Go ahead. White and, and his hair was white like wool. Uh -huh. Verse 15. Right. And his feet. So right. now he gets down to his feet. Right. right? He's describing his feet. Go ahead. And his feet like a divine brass. What color is brass? I know she's smart. What color is brass? Brown. So he says his feet is brown, not Caucasian, not pale. He, he, that's not a brown man. Right. Okay? Where are brown men? Go ahead. Right. And his feet like a divine brass. Oh, hold on real quick. If you take anything, white rice, for example, and you put it in the furnace and it comes out burned, what color is it? If you burn your toast, what color would it be? If you, It'll be kind of dark, right? Black. So if you burn anything, it's black. If it burns. If you can't cook chicken and you let your, your chicken on the stove, right? It's black. If it burns. So the lamb's on right. Right. So first he said he got a white afro. He looked down at his feet. He said his feet is the color of brass. Right? Go ahead. And his feet like a defined brass as if. Already? Uh, Alright. And his feet like a divine brass as if they burned in a furnace. That he looked like he did what? His feet was like a divine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So if you take anything and burn it in a furnace, we already said that is blessed. So he just described Jesus the Christ as a man with an afro, a white afro, woolly afro, and his flesh, his skin looked like he was burned in the furnace. A dark brown man. We've never even seen them try to attempt those details. Right. We've never seen Jesus the Christ with, with hair of wool like this. So what? Oh, yeah, if you Google Jesus the Christ right now, you're going to get this image. Right. That's what we're, we're not saying this is him, but this is a better description of Jesus the Christ. Yes, Israel's on the, on the land of Africa. Israel's on the same continent of Africa as adjacent. The Israelites walked out of Egypt and they went into the land of Canaan on the same continent. See, they told us that Israel was in the Middle East. There's no such thing as the Middle East. Where's the Middle West? Where's the Mid-South? There's no such thing. They've lied to us. Our enemies have lied to us. This man, is, his real name is Caesar Borgia. That's right. He was Pope Alexander VI's son, and he made this image, Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci, the great uh, sketch, the great artist. He made this false image. You can look it up. His real name is Caesar Borgia. This image that we see around the world as so-called Jesus the Christ, this is really the image of the beast. So that a king. Right? That's really the image of the beast. The so-called so white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. And this image is the devil. That's the image of the beast. Why he not black? He is black right here, brother. In the Bible, he's black. And the Bible says he's a so-called black man. And we're from the nation of Israel, my sisters. We're we'll from the same nation. Black and brown people, we're from the nation of Israel. Okay? You guys got your phone in? Hey, man, it's your phone to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Because Jesus says, please, like, nigga. No block, no block. <laughs> okay, now you can get your question off. Native Americans, did you look at the sign? The Native Americans are from either the tribe of Reuben or Gad. American Indians from Gad and the uh, Native of course Reuben. Hey, but I'm both. Oh, you are who your dad is, brother. Native, native also. You are, okay, because of the, some of the little natives are pop around like me and you. They, they reclassified us as Negroes. Huh? Yeah, listen, you guys will be what they call You guys. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Ain't nobody. I, I walk around, nobody gonna call me no Negro. That's old. Hey, hey. Oh, I, I said so called. Did I call you Negro? No, you said so called. Yeah, because that's what we're called, brother. That's what I mean, my bad. I said so called. Because that's a byword, really. 
Hey, don't let look it up and whisper it. Give me Mark 4 and 14. Did you guys get it and subscribe? What's he talking about? Hey, you all right over there? Hey, brother. Tell me, tell me, I'm the teacher. Yeah, all right over there? Bro, now, give me Mark 4 and 14. What, what revelations, right, though? The book of Revelations. We just read Revelations, brother. What, what, what part of Revelations you want? The last part. Right. Hold on real quick. Hey, sisters. You know, the, 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 what, this is the serpent. If you let him whisper in your ear, he's going he to just take everything I saw. Give me Mark 4 and 14. This is the book of Mark, chapter 4 and verse 14. 4, 4 and verse 14. This is what he's trying to do to you guys right now. Right. And the sower, the sower soweth the word. So I'm out here sowing the word into y'all's heart. I just, we just read that Christ is a so-called black man, and this image was given to us by our enemies. I'm sowing the word, right? And these are they by the wayside where the word is sowing. Y'all by the wayside where the word was sown. But when they have heard, so y'all been hearing. Satan come and immediately. Who's this five dollar Indian? Satan come immediately. See, he thought it was an Indian, the real native. Satan He's not even a name. He's a five dollar Indian, and, and Satan came and immediately what? And take it away, the word. So I hope he didn't give them some misinformation. Everything I just said is truth and out of the Bible. What did we say to my sister? Oh, it doesn't matter. My question is: if Satan is the white man, the white man is Satan. No, so the white man is the devil. He's he's the biggest liar on earth. So. Uh, where does it say that, like, the devil is white? Give me, uh, I got you. Give me Genesis 25. No, we're going to go until he, when he was born. So let me ask you something, right? I know it's the devil is a spirit. No, Satan is, Satan is a spirit. Satan is the spirit. Hold on. One thing at a time. Just how Christ is the top angel on the right hand side that does all the righteousness things. And Christ has four archangels Michael, Raphael, Uriel, and Gabriel. Those are his lieutenants. Satan is the top demon on the left hand side, but the people that do Satan's work on earth is the white man, woman, and child. Just like we're supposed to do God's work. What, what, you, what you got from me? Uh, Genesis 25 and 25, right? So the word Genesis means beginning. This is the beginning of all nations. So if you're not white and you do something evil, you're not operating under Satan's command. If anybody is doing evil, you're operating under Satan's command. But, like, you can have black devil. You can have so called. I mean, one doesn't outweigh the other. Yeah, I do. One doesn't outweigh the other. There's, there's so-called, there's so-called black people. I say so-called because we call so I'm just use that term. There's so-called black people that are evil too, bro. You read about wicked Israelites in the Bible. Every nation has wicked people, right? But listen, this is how God. This is hold on. This is how God operates. He judges people by nations, right? Um, Daniel was a righteous man. He 